Hey y'all, how are you doing? I'm great, thank you so much for asking. It's me, Kim, back for another video. So I decided that I was gonna come on here and rant about something that's been on my heart for a little while. And I always think about this all the time, but it's summer right now, and I feel like this issue really comes to a head around this time. Hopefully some of y'all can relate and we can commiserate in the comments. And if you can't relate, hopefully you'll get some more insight into this thing. I'm an introvert. A real one, not somebody who picked it up off of social media. And I've been this way since I was a kid. I'll also say that as a real introvert, introversion is just one part of my personality. It's not my complete personality, but it does come up quite frequently. And since I was a kid, I've had to deal with the fact that a lot of people just don't trust introversion or they don't understand introversion. And so our social practices are not made to accommodate people who are introverts. There's this idea that everybody should want to hang out all the time or should want to be with their friends or their loved ones as much as possible. And that's just, it's just not true for me. And it's never been true. I'm not a psychologist. I don't really know about the science of behavior. All I know is that I need a lot less social time than a lot of people I know. And I can't really speak to what is healthy. All I know is what works for me and what my desires are. I've had some mental health issues in the past with like anxiety and depression. And yeah, sometimes that does contribute to hermit-like behavior. And for me, it really manifested in like avoidance and wanting to sleep all the time. But as of today, right now, I feel really good. I feel healthy in body and in mind. And I still don't wanna hang out. <laughs> I, still, I still don't wanna be out all the time. So it's not a character defect, it's just me. It's who I am. And people have so many misconceptions about introversion. I'm not 100% antisocial. I can have lots of fun and be happy and dance and be the life of the party when I'm plugged in. But I need to be in 100% control of my social time. It's like last week I was babysitting my nieces for five days straight. We spent all day together. And at around, I don't know, 4.30 or 5 p.m. every day, I was over it. I was over it. Not just because taking care of kids is hard. It's extremely difficult, but because I don't want to talk to anybody all day for 10 hours a day. I cannot do it. And I know that this is a part of me because I've been this way since I was a little kid. I can remember being, I don't know, six or seven and just like coming home and just being so excited to either sit on my bed and read or listen to music or watch TV, but just alone. I love that. And it's unfortunate that people don't really care about children's feelings. Like people don't think that children can have like fully processed personalities and know who they are. When I was a kid, I would get so much shit for just like wanting to hang out by myself. And I was shamed for it. And I was pushed to be uncomfortable. And I think a certain amount of discomfort is fine, but I think consistently pushing people beyond their limits and telling them that how they are and how they exist in the world is wrong is completely terrible because it didn't make me change. I'm still the same me. It just made me resentful. And I'm not a hermit. I'm not a recluse, but I know my limits. You know how you have to give kids a nap every day at the same time or they will just completely melt down. That's me after I hit my limit of social interaction. And thankfully I can regulate my emotions as an adult. So I'm not gonna snap on you or melt down. Well, I, I mean, I'll try not to. Usually I don't, right? <laughs> Only when I'm really pushed, right? But I can definitely feel it coming on. I can definitely feel that adult meltdown coming on. Once, once I hit that limit, it's over. And I don't wanna hit that limit. I don't wanna be surly, I don't wanna be angry, I don't wanna be mad or mean. So often I will choose to remove myself from a situation when, when I start to feel it creep up or I'll say, you know what? I'm just not feeling it today. I just don't wanna do it. And I've come to realize that so many people just do not get it. They don't care to ask questions. They don't care to learn. They just always assume the worst. They just draw these completely inaccurate assumptions about me or how I feel about myself or about them and people actually end up often when I say I just I'm not feeling it anymore or I don't want to do it or I'm just gonna stay home they 
consistently manage to make it about themselves. And it's like, no, 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 like this is, this is about what I want to do. It's not even about you. Now, I have learned to adjust in some circumstances because I don't want people to think that I'm a huge bitch. I don't. Like, people just assume that if you don't want to hang out with them, if you don't want to be out, if you're not always happy and smiley and fun and down for the party, that you think that you're better than them, that you don't like them. And it's like, no, I just don't want to. I just don't want to hang out. I just want some alone time. And I developed a complex about it years ago because my mom, and this is really fun, up she would just be like oh people are gonna think you're weird and it's like but this is just naturally who I am and like we all want to be liked we all want to be considered normal and acceptable so I I did what I had to do but that's not fair I should not have to do that but thankfully now that I'm a little bit older I'm okay with just being like okay like you can think I'm weird (laughs) like okay I I just won't be liked then you know if you ask me about it I can tell you, but I just cannot be responsible for all of the stuff floating around in your head about who I am or how I don't like you. All of that's, that's your stuff. I cannot carry your stuff. I'm not sitting at home setting cats on fire. I'm sitting at home watching Netflix or reading a book or listening to a podcast. It's normal stuff. And as I've gotten older, I have made more of an effort to be sweet and to be pleasant and to be enjoyable, particularly when I'm out, and to make more time for hanging out with the people that I really care about because we're all gonna die. (laughs) We're all gonna die. I wanna make sure that I'm not missing the most important stuff I want to make sure that I'm making memories, but still, I still desire to be out making memories, it seems like, a lot less than most of y'all. And I think a part of becoming a grown-ass person is being really comfortable setting those boundaries and saying, I can't do it for ya. I'm sorry, I cannot do it for you. I get one life, you know, we get one shot at this thing. So I have to do what makes me happy. I have to do what makes me comfortable. And certainly if I care about you, there are things that I will do for you and give to you, but sometimes I'm just not gonna do it. So when I'm plugged in, I'm plugged in. And when I'm done, I'm done. But I still love ya, I still care. And it's really annoying and frustrating and depressing that I feel like I'm in this continual tug of war, particularly with people that I've known my whole life. When I was 10, I didn't want to hang out or be bothered. And now that I'm 30, I still don't want to hang out or be bothered. (laughs) So why do we have to debate it? Why do we have to go back and forth? I do think that a lot of us feel overly entitled to other people's time, particularly if you feel like you've invested something in them. And that just, that just cannot be. Now, I certainly believe in kindness. I believe in generosity. I believe in openness because it's just, I don't know, is that's just being a good person, but also because that's how you want to be treated. So you need to give out the energy that you would like to receive. But still, we have to do those things without an expectation of people doing more than they can do. A lot of times, and I've certainly done this, we ask a lot of people in order to fill up our own holes are to quell our own anxieties or insecurities. And you just can't, that's not the way that relationships can work. I just can't respond to those kinds of demands. And you know, sometimes I do feel bad because I think people get the wrong idea because you see me here or you see me elsewhere on social media and you have certain expectations of what I'm like or what I'm into or what my personality is. I am not an extrovert. I don't just like to hang out with people I don't know. I just don't like it. I just don't enjoy it. And so I just it happens to me so frequently that people will request a lunch or request a hangout or request something else. And it's like, honestly, I really only like to hang out when I'm working. You know, I have friends, I have family, but it's like, if we don't have a rapport or an existing relationship, I'm just not, I'm just not super jazzed to just hang out. You know, it's too risky for me. It's too risky. And look, I've talked about this in therapy. You know, it is a little bit of an issue. I am trying to work through it. 
But generally, unless I'm doing work, I don't want to hang out with somebody that I don't know. It's really just not personal. I think because so many of us are walking around the world with open wounds, we internalize all of this stuff as our personal failings. And so when somebody says no to us, you're not good enough, you're ugly, your breath stings, um, when somebody curves you, you suck, you dress bad your nose is too big, uh, when you don't get an opportunity, you're so stupid, you didn't go to the, and it's like, it's none of that. It's not, it's not you. Most of the time I learned 90% of the time, it's not even about you. No, 10% of the time it is you. And you know, you have to deal with that too. But most of the time it's their stuff. It's not your stuff. So put down that stuff. It's not yours. Let it go and leave people alone. It's really okay to leave people alone alone. Well, that's all I have to say about that. Thank you guys so much for listening to my little introvert rant. And by the way, introvert does not mean shy. Those are different things. I'm not shy when I'm comfortable. I'm just not comfortable being out. (laughs) Shout out to all the introverts and the people who love us. Leave a comment below. Head on over to the Patreon. Check out all of the bonus content. Find me on Instagram or Twitter. Send me a DM. Sign up for the email newsletter. Buy some merch. I will see you next time. Bye, guys.